Welcome back, friends, to our legacy playthrough of Destiny 1. We are still taking care of some Taken King stuff. Um, the Reef had a thing. Let's go see what's going on here. Um, I wonder if these are going to open up. Yeah, this is opened up as well, the Taken King Prison of Elders. I, I wonder if anyone's actually playing those. We had a hard time doing the year one versions of that, but when they redid it, I'm curious. Well, wait a minute. It was Prison of Elders done in year two or year three? I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. But uh, they revamped it to have a later challenge version of prison of elders so we'll take a look and see what that is let's go let's stop by the reef first see what's going on here we'll inspect prison of elders i'm probably not going to do prison of elders again for a while unless it's a new boss if it's like an updated version i i'm not going to do it but if it's if it's a new boss i'll check it out i didn't realize there was something for the reef and prison of elders with this i, I don't i don't remember because rise of iron brought forth all the all the raids and made them all year three equivalent. I thought maybe they did that in year three too with uh, Prism Elders, but maybe it was year two. I don't know. We'll see. Mission Pretender to the Throne on the Dreadnought. Orcs dead, but taken remain. No one voice controls them. Have you heard of one who hungers for power? Wants to seize control? That's right. Dreadnought, not quite. 41 Prism Elders. Princels are full. Taken hunger for light. Greater challenges. Okay, so there is a... Gotcha. Okay, good to know. Um, we will worry about that a little later. Um, I wonder... So there are calcified fragments to pick up. There were dead ghosts to pick up, too. Am I gonna make that? Oh, I made that. And there was one on this platform. But I don't know if it's account-wide, or if it's character-wide, or if it's a year three thing that drops and we haven't gotten it yet. I don't know. I'm not sure. That was one thing that perplexed me. Like, why are the calcified fragments here, but not the... Comes if we miss by seconds. Not that stuff. Darkness. Abandoned class. Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, whatever. Speak through me, Master. Let me help you find them. Just trying to collect my thoughts. It's it's tough too because Destiny's got such a scattershotted, like mission layout. It's hard to know exactly what I should do next. Um, weekly bonus. Beneath the reef, the queen's deadliest foes lurk deep in the ancient arena known as the Prism Elders. Gather two teammates and brace yourselves. Fire team one to three. Clear. It does have matchmaking. Okay. I guess some of the other ones did not have matchmaking. Uh, play safe plus required. Plus required. Fire team, three players. Fire team, three players. Fire team. So these were not match made. No wonder I had to do all that. I struggled with that solo. This one does have matchmaking. Good to know. I'm not going to do that just yet. That I'm going to look at my list of missions. So I think he actually said the one on the Dreadnought. The uh, Pretender to the Throne. Yeah. So this should be... So according to my list, so you have the Oryx of Taken King, which is like the base campaign, and then it goes into the Taken War. It has some strikes. The, let's see, Pretender to the Throne is where? Okay, that's weird. So apparently this takes place after the Taken War as part of King's Fall. I don't know though. Is there, so we have stuff here. This is the strike for the Sun of the Cell. We'll worry about that after. And then the strike here for Shield Brothers which is really fun. These are both actually really, really great. I like that a lot. Those are fun. I'm looking forward to doing those. Okay, so we have the one mission there on the Dreadnought. The Moon still has that one strike, which is not relevant. The Reef has Prison of Elders 41, which has matchmaking, which is exciting. The Earth has Rise of Iron, and then a Fallen Saber strike. Okay, so that's what we're going to do then. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up the, the Taken King campaign stuff as far as we can go and then we'll do the strikes because it looks like that's probably the most logical way to, to go about those and then we'll do the strikes hmm I'll have to review whatever strikes are remaining that I didn't didn't do in current time that's fine though it doesn't really matter and then the vanguard strikes these things are I think are randomly assigned they have a strike playlist here but it's all random. You don't know what strikes you're actually going to do. These are legacy ones. This is the Rise of Iron strikes. Strike playlist. What is the difference between these two? Siva Crisis. Oh, Heroic. Okay, so these are the standard ones, and this is the Heroic one. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Well, let's do this one. Pretend to the throne. It looks like the most, like the last story mission I can think of, right? Because I think, as far as it says, so we have... I don't know what Summoner's Circle is. Winter's Run is a strike. That's on Venus. Did I not? Do, let me see that. Was that? Was there a Venus thing? Is Winter's Run on here? 
pointers run. So there's a level 14 strike. Oh, and then it has the level, eh, I see. Okay, so that's good to know. That's why it's not listed here. Okay. So this is what we'll do. After Pretender the Throne, we'll do the strikes, the current year strikes that are up for year one and year two. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, I'll, I'll worry about that later. It's too confusing to try and go over all the details right now. It's just, it's a mess. What a slop. What a slop fest. Okay, Pretender the Throne. That's what we're doing. Let's focus on that. Let's get to it and see what's going on. There should be some dialogue here loading into this, I imagine. This Fatebringer's just too good. I can't use anything else. Oryx is dead, taken, unleashed. Many seek to claim the throne. I thought that killing Oryx would have ended the threat. Instead, we created a power vacuum. Taken King was enough. Thank you. Man, this takes me back. I remember this mission like it was yesterday. Man. There's a lot of uh, secrets and stuff to uncover in the Dreadnought, and we'll worry about that stuff as time goes on, but I am excited to do it. Damn, it's a lot of knights. shield back up there we go okay not gonna waste any more time with that it sucks that glimmer is so hard to come by in this game and that you have to consume things all the time for it i keep forgetting oh there's a calcified fragment right there i don't know if i can get it from this side though it might be something i have to grab from the other side and side the fence there is it within reach oh it might be taken off Cautious hiding. Can't jump over that. So I yeah, don't think it will be a problem. Of course, they put it right there. Lame. Okay. I think there's a calcified fragment hidden somewhere above somewhere as well. And like on one of these, maybe. Yeah, I was looking forward to this area. There it is. Holy shit. Yeah, I can't believe I remembered that. Amazing. I can't believe I remembered that. This is like, what? Eight, nine years ago now? Nine years ago? Yeah, nine years ago. This was a 2015 release Taken King was. This is one of my favorite places in the Taken King. It's just a really cool looking area. Always a fun challenging place to shoot enemies and encounter. Those will be easy to deal with. And, whoops, wrong thing. <laughs> and here we go. See, I don't know. A new Taken Prince yet. Taken Prince. He is close. Taken Prince, huh? What the hell? I don't know if there's meat hooks. I don't know if he has any other sons. It was just Crota, right? Crota wasn't a Taken Prince. I think it, he's just speaking in. He's being cheeky. I don't think it is actually like. Oh, it's you, Malak. him guardian bring him to prison of elders he has a strike doesn't he you want him alive whatever happened to kill them back 
Yeah, he brings up a good point. Yeah, Malak is a strike boss, I think, so we don't actually catch him here. Is he a pretender, though? Because it kind of seems like the guy's got a legitimate hold on things. Shot though. Oh, he actually takes damage. Is he gonna stick around? I don't think so. If I was to hit him, he's probably gonna dip before I even do enough damage with the golden gun shot, but let's find out. Oh, I didn't see you guys. Okay, let's see if I can pop this guy in the face. Yeah, back off. He's gonna run. He's sticking around. Yeah, that's right, you bitch. There's no way he was gonna stay. He's getting away! Malak delays judgment. Cannot escape it. Prey wants to run. We follow. Take it will hold his echo. Find it and find Malak. He goes to a strike on the moon, doesn't he? And he's got unique armor. I think there's a unique, like, hood and... Like, there's a helmet that I have in my vault, I think, that's from that strike. I am, like, kind of certain that's what it is. I don't remember if the Warlock has something, but I know the Hunter, the hunter does. Let's see if I have it in Device Item Manager. I'll drop it over real quick. Uh, where are you? El Helmito. There you are. That one here. Yeah, the Hood of Malak. That's it. It's basically just his freaking face. Yuck, dude. Ugh. Disgusting. But, you know. Well done, friend. Okay, so now... Ah, uh, you've got to be kidding. It's fine, I guess. Uh, let's see. The next thing at the gates. Kill taken anywhere and find... Ah. That. Is there actually a quest here? Broken Will? Gather Hadium Flakes and a Dreadnought for a Legendary Sword, probably. Blighted Worlds, work with Katakora. Taken across Earth. So how does that work, though? But, like, what does that mean? Because this is just a general thing. Commander, there's something strange about the Fallen along the ridgeline here. Some of them are glowing. Some... They're coming for us. I repeat, the Fallen are advancing on the outpost in large numbers. Please send backup. Earth, Mars, and Venus. It must be a strike thing. I don't really know what that is. The Sunless Cell. I know the Sunless Cell eliminate cool. Oh, cool. Okay, so we're going to have to do the strikes. Like, ASAP. Deep Lore. Calcified Fragment. Taken War. Draw from the Void. Not going to do that. Cry for help. Yeah. Fallen Saber Strike. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I guess we're going to have to just go track down Taken again. Where is the highest has to be... Mars has a lot of Taken too, though, but I'm trying to think the best place to fight Taken. The Moon still has that strike. The Reef has its thingy thing. Okay, we have Rise of Iron, and then we have the Strikes. Devil's Lair... Doesn't Devil's Lair have multiple versions? No, it's just the... Okay. I guess we're just going to go to the Dreadnought and see if I can find... Yeah, I think... We're just going to do our best. Okay, let's go just do our thing. Put 
speed zone. We're going to track down some Taken and see if we can get the, uh... I mean, I know where the, the thing is, but... Kill Taken anywhere and find clues to where the Malak is hiding. Echoes of Malak. That's a cool shot right there. There we go. I can Photoshop the ship out and just get a really cool Ring of Saturn thing going on. We really do visit the most charming places. Just trying to help. Okay, let's go grab this. Just gonna grab this post here. Sensor beacons pinging off some targets. Cabal, Hive, Taken. Makes no difference to me. Just make sure they know who runs this place now. I thought we could summon the sparrows here. Worm spore. I bet I guess you can't, huh? I don't know why I thought that. Not that we need to. I don't think it's necessary, but... Huh. Weird. I don't know why. I don't know why in my head I was saying that. I think that there is a calcified fragment walking by here, somewhere hidden in this area. I don't remember if it's visible if you're just walking around and you can see it. I don't know if it's behind or forward, like what side. But I do recall that there is one. I feel like there is one somewhere. I don't know where. But I feel like it's around here. I'm, I could be wrong. I don't know. I have like 80% accuracy when it comes to remembering things. So. Okay, whatever. Let's go see if we can deal with the Taken. So there's got to be Cabal here. Okay, there's that. And Hive. Is it just a bomb or is that summon them? There's got to be... Okay, I hear it. Where are you at? There we go. That's something. Echoes. Well, that had to ruin their day. I'll make sure the city hears. Dude, who is lighting me up? Is it the, wi the wizard? You are being a bitch. For one. Yeah, I think it's that wizard. There you are. Okay, but I think there's another one up here. Oh, it's just you. Okay, so we took down a few taken. That's not what I wanted. I don't know if there's a great spot to farm them, like where they just hang out. Like, are they just spawn in? I don't remember. That should hurt somebody. Okay, there's another bomb thing. Oh, God. Who's the one shooting me? Oh, shoot. summon more taken oh he's a red that did not give me oh it did give me an echo okay over here fools That goes. Okay, 
how many more of that do we need? Bonk. 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 Oh. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, I saw you. Alright, whatever. Filthy bastard. Okay, so how many is that left, though? 13 out of 20, huh? Shoot. Oh, hey! Easy, easy. Here it be. Another Colossus spawn. Just put him down and get him out of the way. Saw a blue Engram up there. Don't care about that much, but... Okay. That was itching like crazy right now. It's either a hare or a booger or both, and it's driving me nuts. Three. Ah. Okay, we're good, we're good. Allergies, man, are killing me. Oh, God. Threw the grenade for no reason. I killed him before it could even go off. Hey, a purple. And bam. Good night to you. Hey, sublimey. Anybody? There's like nobody here to use this on. Damn it. Looked like that bounce it, ricochet. You know, my experience here on the Dreadnought is sort of what I was really hoping that Bethesda was going to do with Starfield. Taking on aliens and alien ships and stuff. This is what I thought Starfield was going to be. I thought it was going to feel like this. But instead, Starfield doesn't even feel like... Not even as good as D1. The gunplay isn't as good. The visuals aren't as good. It's just not... I don't know. It's very... I don't know. It's very discombobulated. I really, 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 really want that game to be more of this, like this, but I don't see that happening. That was a real disappointment. I'm really upset. I'm really sad that Starfield wasn't good. I was like, man, this is going to be everything I wanted, like, Destiny to be, and, like, no. It was so boring, so uninteresting, so sloppy. It just had nothing at all that I expected from it. And when it showed that you were going to get, like, magic powers and stuff, and I was like, hell yeah, dude, space magic. It's going to give you abilities. It's going to be fun. We're going to be able to expand and do RPG stuff. It's going to be, you know, Destiny meets uh, Skyrim. And no. It wasn't even as good as Skyrim, and it feels really bad. It felt like a cheap imitation. Some good systems, some good bones, but it felt so dated. It was just not... I don't know. Whoever was the director on that game was not good at it. Not good at directing and putting that thing together. So bored. Everything was so... Ugh. I don't know. It's just... I didn't get it. I didn't get anything from that. What? Dude, where are my freaking echoes? What is happening? Are you being stingy? Is it an RNG thing? That's a lot of enemies back to back to just take out and it didn't do anything. Or did I get them all? Oh, I talked to Eric. I did it already. Okay. Uh, shoot. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Damn it. Oh, he doesn't count as a consumption of three of coin. Like it just, I didn't care about anything in that game. Everything felt super repetitive. The loot wasn't interesting. You lose it when you do New Game Plus, which is dumb because New Game Plus is integrated into the story. Ugh. And as of right now, they haven't done anything with mods. Like, they haven't done... Um, they haven't done anything with... Uh, I mean, they have paid mods, but, like, I'm talking about Steam Workshop stuff. That's what they needed. I just, I don't know, I really, I really was expecting more out of that game, and it just sucked. Big time. I don't know, I mean, I've got hope that the new Shattered Space expansion, which I'm going to play, I don't, oh, I'm going to get kicked again. I don't think I'm going to, uh, I don't know, I'm not... Decide if I want to do a playthrough of that because it looks fun, but I don't think it's going to be. I don't think anyone's going to care. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd, Starfield was just such a... No one really cared about that playthrough either. And I was just like... I wasn't really disappointed. Like, I understand. I was just hoping for so much more. Like, Skyrim still has such a healthy player base and fan base and, and content creation around it and stuff and mods and all these really fun things. And here comes Starfield 2023 and it just... Stinker. Some of the guns were cool. Some of the characters were cool. But, like, I didn't... I don't know, it just, they didn't have any, there was nothing meaningful going on in that game at all. It's like seeing like the, you're so hungry for a burrito, right? This is my, this is my comparison. I compare it to food. You have, you're hungry for a burrito and you order a burrito and it looks like the most beautiful, delicious, awesome burrito ever, right? It's big and beefy and just looks delish. And you're like, yeah, I can't wait to eat this big freaking burrito. Cause that's what I'm in the mood for. And you take a big bite out of it and it's nothing but tortilla. It's just like tortillas rolled up in a tortilla. And that disappointment is how I would describe my experience with Starfield. It looked like everything I wanted, but it was just exactly the same throughout. And it was not, it didn't satisfy anything. Now, for those who love tortillas, sure, there you go. You got your tortilla burrito, your torturito, torturito, torito. Be careful. But that's not what I wanted. It's not what I was looking forward to. And I was, uh, yeah, I was heartbroken, man. That sucked. Deep in the temple. Quota. Barracks is a fool if he thinks he can hold Malak in his flimsy prison and I no longer suffer fools. Okay. Give me the echoes. I can feel Malak's presence in their nightmare song. He has returned to the moon to lurk into Kayfield chambers, seek him there, and kill him. Good. At the gates. Blighted Chalice. Okay, so this isn't... Wait, Blighted Chalice is a strike, though, isn't it? Yeah, Blighted Chalice. Okay, so what is the time on this video? 27, so we're about 30 minutes. A whole, a strike is gonna take a long time. I don't wanna push it too far. And then there's Wolves of Mars. I'm curious about that. Wolves of Mars. Is there anything for us to even do on Mars? Interesting, what missions is, are those? Apparently there's something interlude between King's Fall and Rise of Iron, Wolves of Mars. I don't know what that is. Uh, Mars has nothing. It's been like barren for a while. What do we have here? Garden Spire, Shurzvai, Black Garden, Excursion Zone, Dark Below, Rising Tide, Buried City, Dust Palace, The Coming War. Yeah, so it doesn't have anything that I was expecting. Is there something supposed to be here? Maybe it's part of ROI? I don't know. But we're like right on the on the cusp of Rise of Iron. So I think what we're going to do is I'll do the Blighted Chalice in the next episode. This is a shorter one. Um, we'll do Blighted Chalice in the next one, and that'll be the strike. And then we'll go and we'll do the other strikes after that. So we'll start the strikes, and then we'll move into Rise of Iron. Okay. I'm good with that. I think that works for me somehow. The final mission in this is, unless it opens up for something else. I do need to figure out what to do about the... Uh, the reef in prison of elders so we'll we'll explore that later but anyway all right we'll wrap it up this isn't a super long one but uh it was i don't know this is a good episode i think um if you enjoyed this one though you can show your love by hitting the like button do not forget to subscribe any feedback for me leave in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible also don't forget to take a look at the description box there are some links there that might be of interest to you one of which is a link to the mark and Iron community discord server if you want to be part of that group you can chat with me directly otherwise just know i appreciate you and your time and i hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Destiny 1's The Taken King. And then we'll move into Rise of Iron after that. But anyway, all right, that's it for me, guys. Take care, be well. I will see you next time. Later.